A barricade situation at Caesars Palace caused a lockdown on an entire floor of the hotel for more than five hours. Thank you for joining us on Channel 13 Live at 5. I'm Trisha Keen. And I'm Abel Garcia. Las Vegas Metro Police say around 9 this morning, a man forced a woman into a hotel room, held her hostage, and refused to open the door before saying he was armed. That suspect was taken into custody around 3 this afternoon. And tonight we bring you live team coverage with our Joe Moeller and Shakira Hawkins. And Joe, I understand Metro Police say the barricade is now over. Able, that's right. The situation is now over. According to Metro, that suspect has been taken into custody and the woman involved in this who was taken inside of that room is now safe. Well, as you can imagine, this creating a big scene here at Caesars Palace. I'm going to go ahead and have our photojournalist zoom up to the tower where this all happened. You can see that window is still broken. We were told this on the 21st floor. Now, that's where those items were being thrown down to the pool. And as you can imagine, for people down at the pool, they were worried about what this could have turned into. Oh, my God. Go, go, go. Go, go! It was a frightening scene at the Caesars Palace pool as items were being thrown from one of the towers. It broke and we saw it fall and then stuff started coming out. He was throwing things out of the window like glass was falling out, mirrors, TVs, uh, coffee maker, everything you could think of was just coming out of the window. See right there! Police say around 9 Tuesday morning, a man barricaded himself inside this hotel room along with a woman he forced into the room with him. SWAT and Metro Police could be seen around the property trying to defuse the situation. After the window was broken and items flew, people were evacuated from the pool area. Emma and Truman Snyder from Wisconsin were there as people ran for safety. Uh, well, at first I did think it was going to be a shooting, so my first instinct was to like get behind a wall somewhere. For hours, people waited to find out what was happening. I mean, the information was all up in the air. Nobody really knew what was going on. We asked somebody who was working there what it was, and they said it was a domestic dispute. Around 3 in the afternoon, Metro said SWAT made entry inside of the hotel room and took the subject into custody, and the female was safe. Snyder says it wasn't what they were expecting on their Las Vegas vacation. It was really, really surreal and very scary. All right, now back out here live, taking another look at that broken window there on that tower here at Caesars Palace. The drapes were taken down, and we have seen some uh, employees inside of that room. But uh, Truman and Emma said they didn't see anybody get hurt from those items that fell from that room. But they said they did see some people fall as they were running from the pool. Now, Shakira Hawkins is also standing by. She spoke with someone who was on that floor when this all unfolded. Shakira. Yes, Joe, that's right. It's been a long and intense ordeal for the guests of this hotel and even Las Vegas Metro Police. But police have confirmed that the man involved in this incident is now in custody after barricading himself in a Caesars hotel room and holding a woman hostage. Metro Police say their SWAT team entered the hotel room around 2.30 p.m. and arrested the suspect. According to authorities, the female hostage inside the room is now safe. Police were initially called to the hotel at 9.15 a.m. for a domestic disturbance on the palace tower floor. Officers reported that the man pulled the woman into one of the rooms by force. The man allegedly began throwing furniture from the hotel room out of the window, the items landing in the pool area. Police say no shots have been fired. I spoke with a hotel guest who was staying in the same tower where the incident occurred. She says she was not allowed to return to her room for the majority of the day because of the situation. I'm staying in the same tower as this person's in, so that's kind of crazy. We're not able to go up to our rooms right now, so. But we're here for a conference, so it's still going on. There were a few items when the glass was broken that were thrown into the pool area, and that might have been some of the mistaken reports of gunfire. Police say they are is still investigating on what led up to the situation. As we learn more, we'll continue to bring you the very latest. Reporting live from the Las Vegas Strip, I'm Shakira Hawkins.